hey guys welcome to another video in today's video i'll be showing you all how i achieved this beginner friendly jumbo twist without using rubber band please keep on watching firstly i'm just going to be prepping my braiding hair for this hairstyle so i just I'm going to be stretching the hair myself because it's not a pre-stretch hair so I'll be doing the stretching myself after stretching it just brush this and then set this aside next I just prep my hair off camera I decided to put it in bantu knots so that it will be easy for me for the hairstyle starting from the back I took down one of the bantu knots and then apply my gel you can use shine and jam gel or any gel you have so after applying my gel I will braid my natural hair. I'm going to go ahead to use my crochet pin to pass the braiding hair through my natural hair and then I'll twist this. Yo, this is my first time of doing jumbo twist on my own hair. So as you're twisting the braiding hair, make sure you twist it to the very end so that it won't unravel. I don't know if you all can see the footage of the back very well, but like I did earlier, I just unraveled the bantu knot at the back and then apply my gel, braid my hair a little bit and then pass the braiding hair through the natural hair and then start twisting this. Here, I'm just applying my gel. After applying my gel, as usual, I'll go ahead to braid this. I'm doing this braiding method because I cannot grip my hair. So, if you're a beginner like me, so this is the best method for you to use. And then I'm going to go ahead to use my crochet to grab the braiding hair through my natural hair and then I'll divide my natural hair into two parts for both parts of the braiding hair and then start twisting this. I hope that makes sense. And make sure I twist this to the end so that it won't unravel. Unraveling one of the bantu knots, I'm going to apply my gel and then braid my natural hair. I'm not braiding this to the end. I'll, after that, I'll just grab my crochet pin and then pass the braiding hair through my natural hair and then divide my natural hair into two parts just like the braiding hair then start twisting this
I'm going to be repeating all I've been doing for the remaining parts of my hair. So I'll apply my gel, then braid my natural hair. And then using my crochet pin, I will grab my braiding hair through my natural hair and then I will divide my natural hair that was braided into two parts and then start twisting this. And while I'm doing this jumbo twist, I will make sure I twist the braiding hair to the very end. I don't want this unraveling. This is my first time doing jumbo twists. I, this is the very first method I've tried and it worked for me as a beginner. So if you're a beginner like me, also try this method. I'll also be trying out other methods in other of my videos. Please subscribe, turn on post notification if you like to see more. Here I'm using my scissors to make this neat. I'm just going to put this in a bowl of hot water 
I'm putting this in hot water to get that straight ends. The next thing I'll be doing is to apply my styling mousse. Next, I'll be laying down my edges. After laying down my edges, I'll go ahead to tie this down. This is the outcome of the Jumbo Twist hairstyle. This was my first time, but I think I'm really satisfied with it. I'm, I'm really happy the way it came out. And for the final touch, I'm just adding some bead accessories. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't. 